When I completed my Master of Science in Enology at UC Davis in 1979, I knew I wanted to work overseas. So I went to France and I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to arrange uh, a temporary position during the harvest of 1979 with Etablissement Jean-Pierre Mouex, Christian Mouex, whom we became friends and longtime associates, and that was my initial French experience. In terms of influences, I would credit three major influences. The first, really, of course, was the Mouex organization in Pomerol, in Bordeaux. Christian Mouex, but notably Jean-Claude Barraway, the chief enologist for Etablissement Jean-Pierre Mouex, one of the great gentlemen and enologists of France. Secondly, in France, my many, many, many visits to Burgundy, standing in February, freezing my toes in Burgundian cellars, asking all my Burgundian friends what they did, how they did it. And then, my first full-time job, right here in Healdsburg, 1980, assistant winemaker to Zelma Long at Simi Winery. And from Zelma, I learned the Mondavi system of production management, and that's a skill in and of itself. When I started making wine with Zelma at Simi in 1980, and then I, I, I replaced Mary Edwards at Matanzas Creek in 1984, and then I went to Chalk Hill for six years, and the thought of having our own winery really never occurred to me. And then, as Christian was trying to get me to come over and manage Dominus and, and build the building, I said, but Christian, you don't make any white wine. And he said, well, you want to make a little Chardonnay on the side, that's okay. And a light bulb went off. It's like, yeah, I can do that. I know how to do that. And so in 1996, we started with our first Hyde Vineyard Chardonnay, 260 cases. So I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. And I want to encourage you to come visit us. You will not regret it. Healdsburg is one of the most enjoyable towns in all of wine country anywhere in the world. Great restaurants, great hotels, and you will have a fabulous tasting here. Cheers.